Hello friends, in this lecture we will learn about designing subnetworks, okay, and how blocks of address are allocated and the network admin or the ISP provided to its users, okay. So this is a very interesting topic that you are assigned a block of addresses and then you have to divide it into your network to assign it to your subnetwork, okay. So it's called kind of designing networks and subnetworks when you are allocated a block of IP addresses and you have to think about everything like how will routing happen properly okay so routing how will you make subnets so that group of people have the same are on the same LAN and so on okay so these are quite important things so we will look at it so who assigns the block of addresses or IP addresses so it's I can internet corporation of assigned names and addresses okay and what it does it allocates a block of IP address to a, an ISP okay so large block of address is assigned to an ISP to be distributed to the internet users okay and what happens what are the criteria okay the first is that the requested number of blocks that you take should be a power of two okay so when you are assigning number of addresses to someone it should be a power of two reason is simple okay so this small or lowercase n is the net network prefix size and your n which is your starting address of the network okay the number of blocks uh, ip addresses in the network is this so for your n to be an integer okay your this should be some integer okay and that is why and this n needs to be a power of two and then what happens is the number of requested addresses and first is it should be a power of two the requested block needs to be allocated then of course it should be allocated such that there is an adequate number of contiguous address available in the address space okay so when you are starting your address in your LAN, writing your address to the first router okay or first computer so for example 132.16.5.0 if this is the first address of your network slash 24 so what happens is you can have maximum of for this network you can have 132.165.0 zero okay so i have not given in fact 0, 0.0 so you can have 0 0.255 this is the maximum you can have okay so it says that when and uh, we want that okay allocated addresses should be contiguous so that it you can basically route and make the subnets better okay the first address needs to be divisible by the number of addresses in the block next what happens and what is the reason that the first address needs to be divisible by the number of addresses the reason is the first address need to be the prefix okay the first address should be the prefix so that i can put all other bits in that as zero after the prefix and then also i can route okay so it means basically after the prefix whatever are the values the gateway router will have all those packets so uh, prefixed followed by 32 minus n number of zeros okay needs to be prefix okay first address needs to be the prefix and after that you should have all zeros okay so it means it should be divisible by the number of addresses in the block and I speak so we will look with one example which will make our concept very clear about how address allocation is done so let's look at the concept the an isp is granted a block of addresses starting with 190.100.0.0 slash 16 okay so this is the starting address and it is giving all other ip addresses with slash 16 so this network is 190.100.0.0 okay slash 16 it means what are the range what is the range of address 190.100.0.0 to 190.100.255.255 so whole bunch of address in between is there 
and how many addresses so these slash 16 means it can have 2 to the power of 16 addresses inside that and if you count all these addresses from 190.100.0.0 to 190.100.255.255 they will come to the same the isp needs to distribute these addresses to three groups okay so now at first it has to give this address to three groups of customers okay and what are they so let's try to see so here we have the first group has 64 customers okay and each needs 256 addresses okay so you should remember that the first group has 64 customers and each of them needs 256 addresses so each of them if they need 256 addresses so in your host part there should be 8 bits okay because to represent 256 addresses you need 8 bits so here i need 8 bits for the host part so 24 bit for the network prefix the second group has 128 customers okay and each of them need 128 addresses 128 addresses means 7 bits for the host and 32 minus 7 which is 25 bits are the for the prefix the third group has 128 customers and each needs 64 addresses so 64 addresses now means how much so 64 addresses is 6 bits for your host and your 26 bits for the network so let's design this network okay design the sub block and find how many addresses are still available so we need to design it and we will as an administrator or network designer we want that okay we should use the block as much as possible and allow contiguous memory okay so let's try out so this is the idea but we will see first here what is there in group one okay so group one what was our need this group has 256 addresses for each group there are 256 addresses the first thing is each group has 256 addresses so 8 bits bits need to be there for the suffix length or 8 bits should be there for the host part so the prefix length will be 32 minus 8 it will be 24 addresses now our starting location was 190.100.0 slash dot zero slash 24 okay so we had slash 16 now i can divide it into sub network so i start with slash 24 okay this is my first customer first address then what happens what will be his last address so at 256 computers here so it will be 0 1 2 3 till 255 so last address is 190.100.0.255 slash 24 which is written here now we need to have 256 such customers so your last 8 bits will change and you will have 256 hosts and if you change here these bits okay so this decimal part 0 1 2 3 till 255 then you will have 256 such customers so i will have 190 100 dot 0 dot 0 slash 24 first customers starting address next customer is 190 dot 100 dot 0 this will not be 0 it will be 1 dot 0 slash 24 the second customer similarly the 256th customer is 190.100.255.0 okay so which is here okay in fact we needed just we have 64 such customers so it will just go till 63.0 slash 24 okay so we are now done till here so we are done with the first group of 64 customers each of them requiring 256 hosts so this is done okay 
so first customer second customer is this third the two the 64th customer is this if it was 256 customers it, this 63 would have gone till 255 so here so we have 64 into 256 ip addresses are taken now what is our next ip address that we can have 63.255 till there we are taken so now next address can start at 190.100.64.0 that can be my next address so let's see that so each group 2 we have 128 addresses for them okay and there are 128 such groups are there so what we do we need to have 7 bits in our network suffix to represent 128 hosts the what will happen now we have 190.100.64.0 and now we have slash 25 network this will go until 64.02 64.127 okay so this is my first customer next we can start from 127 still we have space for another 128 so it will be 64.128 till 64.255 this is the second customer what will be my third customer it will be 190.100 so it will be how much 65.0 slash 25 and this will go on till 65 dot so it will go till 65 dot 127 slash 25 then the fourth customer will be 190 dot 100 dot 65 66 dot 0 slash 25 and it will go till 66 dot 127 will be the fourth one slash 25 the first address and this will keep on going okay and we need to have 128 such people so after 64 till 127 we will have all the 128 address because 64 will take care of two such groups 65 will take care of the two such groups so in one in 64 from 64 to 127 it will handle all the 128 groups so this is done so we have now the ending address 190.100.127.255 so next thing we can start is 190.100.128.0 this will be our next address so let's see this for this group 3 we want to have 64 addresses for each customer so we can have 6 bits for the host the prefix length is 26 and the groups are there are 128 such groups so I can start with 190.100.128.0 and because I have just 64 people so it will be just add 64 to it it will be 128.63 and we can cover in 128 itself i can have four such groups okay so i will have 128.0 till 128.63 first group 128.64 to 128.127 the second group 128.128 till 128.191 will be the third group and 192 till 255 will be the fourth group so something like this you need to do so you have this is done so we will have finally we will go till 159 okay so here because in one 128 it has four group 129 it has four groups so till 159 if you go so it will cover how much so 159 so 160 minus so it's 32 into 4 so it's 128 group it covers so this way you can see that we have designed a network okay we have, our requirement was that we need to have 
three different types of group and each group had different number of customers okay so now we have designed till here and still we have lot of addresses left and we have used contiguous allocation so that we have a lot of addresses still left so i hope you understand this thanks a lot